Hello, everybody. This is Highly Flammable Man, and with me is Muffy Stoffelies. Hello, everybody. And we're here today to let's play a game that apparently not too many people have heard of. Uh, and in truth, I only remember from my days of reading Nintendo Power when I was about 12. I've never <laughs> actually played this game myself, so it's going to be fun for everybody. Ooh, a top hat. Nice. That lets you know the game is fancy. Does let you know the game is fancy. Yes, it is the Twisted Tales of Spike McFang. <laughs> it's about a vampire. A vampire with a top hat. <laughs> He's awesome. Supposedly. Well, yes. But here we go. We have a dragon bat car truck mobile. Dragula? It kind of looks like it does look kind of <laughs> like a weird, form, a shortened form of uh, the grandpa's car from the monsters, which was what Dragula was based off of. Strangely yep. enough. Anyways, enough with the trivia. Here we go with sheep. <laughs> but we're chock full of it. Trivia, not sheep. I am chock full of sheep <laughs> and an old man. <laughs> this is it, Professor Steam. Fighter Island, where young adventurers learn the ways of the warrior. You've been reading too many brochures, Spike. That may be true, Professor, but if I'm going to rule the kingdom of Dracula, <laughs> Dracula, right, someday I have to learn to protect the land. You're always one step ahead of me, Spike. You're not very smart, are you, Professor Steam? <laughs> hey, someone's coming. Oh, Lord. It's a girl with green hair. Camilla, what are you doing? Here. Spike! General von Hessler's army of zombies has taken over. <laughs> <laughs> the land of the land of Vlad Moscow. Oh good lord. Really? Vlad Moscow? That's terrible. Why are where are my parents and your mother getting eaten by zombies? Missing. It's up to us to find them and defeat von Hessler. Why are the text box so small? And slow. Wait a minute. Before the two of us go battling armies of drooling ghouls, I think I need a little practice. I have already signed up for these classes. <laughs> if I back out now, I'll lose the deposit. Wow. <laughs> really? Thanks, douchebag. Fine. Joke. You go to your little warrior camp. I'm going to go. To Ratville. Ratville, that's nice. Yeah. To see if I can find someone who is ready to save the islands. Listen, Camilla. Catch up to me in Ratville. If it fits into your schedule, wimp. Ooh. What a bitch. Camilla, I put down $300. I can't just run off. That didn't go so well. <laughs> Oh? She's upset. Her kingdom is crumbling and evil creatures are running rampant. They can put a damper on <laughs> your day. You might think. Who, Never mind your parents being missing. Who wrote this dialogue? It looks like you should get your training out of the way. Then see about saving your own crumbling kingdom. That is... Classes me. before kingdoms, kids. Good idea. I'll go back to Batland. And wait for you there. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Thanks. Give me a call on my cellular phone if you need me. Yeah, wave that friggin' handkerchief. So we've got sheep and a Moai Island head who is for saving. I'm gonna run. I can spin. I got a spin attack. I got a jump. That's about it. Looks like I can acquire some gold down there. And oh, good lord, what is that? Hello, Spike. I'm Master Ching Kao Kui Jiang. There we go. The spirit of Fighter Island. But you can call me Clarence. <laughs> call me Clarence. We will start your training with jumping exercises. Press the B button to jump over 15 rolling logs. Arbitrary number. Yeah, no joke. The logs represent garlic and I represent tomatoes or something. something. I don't freaking know. Well, I understand the, the garlic, but look at the tomato. I understand that's your life, but... Tomatoes are my life because vampires love tomatoes. Because 
Maybe it's like blood. Does it represent right. blood, I guess? I don't know. He is a little kid vampire. It kind of looks like the tomato is smiling. It does kind of look like the tomato is smiling. Am I done here? There we go. Well done. Let's move on to the next challenge. Yes, let's move on through this horrifying training sequence. This is where you will master the spin attack. Press the Y button to spin and hit 30 rocks with your cape. But don't spin too quickly or you'll get dizzy. What kind of wuss little vampire is this? Oh, hit him with your cape. Don't get dizzy. Also, you have no magic powers. 30 rocks. This is ridiculous. Do vampires normally have magic powers? I guess. I don't know. They can at least like hypnotize people, I thought. Yeah, old school vampires. Or if you're like a Anne Rice vampire, you can look really gay and have dinners. <laughs> you can have awesome dinner parties. With Johnny Depp. Wasn't he in that movie? No. 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 I'm just throwing <laughs> shit out there. Seems like he would have been. Might have been a much different movie. Johnny Depp was in an Interview with a Vampire. Who was that? Uh, I'm not sure. Brad Pitt, maybe? Sure, we'll go with Brad sure. Pitt. Brad Pitt. He... Ring. Ring? Oh, it's my cell phone. That's Professor Steam. Hello, Professor. What's going on? You have achieved another level of experience. I can gain levels. Be careful. All right, I will be careful busting up these rocks. I think it goes without saying that I absolutely hate vampires. <laughs> Excellent. Hop onto the seesaw in the clearing ahead. What the hell is with this game? That's vaguely creepy. I'm kind of staring at me. Wow, do they all turn their heads as you walk by? Yeah. That's weird. Can I talk to you? No. Okay, I'll just take a knot. Go over here. Boing. And away we go. <clears throat> hey, we're on a mountain. Sweet. And there's a giant pit. Do I jump into it? Now you are ready to learn the hat toss. Press and hold the Y button until your hat begins to float, then let go and watch it fly. Your challenge is to ground 15 balloon animals. Odd. That is All odd. Alright, though. Balloon animals. Oh! Whoa! Okay, actual animals <laughs> attached to balloons. Not, not quite what I expected. That is not what I expected at all. I'd like to see a clown make one of these, honestly. <laughs> I don't, I, know if a, that time. I don't know if a clown can make a sheep appear. A perfectly round sheep. He should be able to. If he's With a bow sort of... tie? I think. Do those things have bow ties? Yes, they do. I guess. I don't know. Those balloons have faces, though. Maybe Pennywise the clown could do it. Well, he was creepy. Then the so... sheep would eat you. <laughs> we all float down here, Spike McFang. <laughs> Soon you'll float, too. So is this just going to be uh, an LP of... Pop trivia and kid vampires? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> I don't even know, man. Is that everything? Yeah, there we go. Beetle dudes. Excellent. Let's so move on to the last challenge. Almost out of time. Let's jump down this friggin' hole. Can't. Alright, I've been told that we're almost out of time, so we will stop here. See you in the next part where we get on with the last of our training, hopefully. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for listening, and see you in the next part. See ya. Farewell.